Hey guys, out in this graveyard trying to find the gravesite of my high school physics teacher. I heard he passed away. Actually, I stopped by yesterday and I looked around real quick and couldn't find it. However, I did find a few interesting grave sites from people I know. And I'll keep looking for my physics teacher's grave site. And I'll add in some of these if you want to hang out here and have a listen. Well, I found it. Apparently, they share tombstones on each side. So, in some cases. So there you go. Yep, he was my high school physics teacher. I had a lot of good teachers, but he stood head and shoulders above the rest for what he, he did. Well, outside the curriculum, he would talk about, you know, he'd have stories about life and engage in activities that would make everybody feel good about themselves. That was really special. He was a giver. I mean, a lot of people are takers, but he was a giver. I guess not too long after I graduated, his wife died, as you can see there. And I thought he was a lot older than he actually was. Now, in the mid-80s, he would have been in the mid 40s and yeah he looked like an older man he had gray hair and just mannerisms of an older person I thought he was in his 60s but yeah he was a lot younger then you come across a few people like this in your life and I thought he was a special person in my life and I'm sure a lot of other people's. Okay, well, I'll show you around a few other graves I found. Well, I ran across this grave here and it sounded very familiar, so when I researched it, it's the guy I bought my house from 20 years ago. He didn't live very long. Had a young family with three children. So, uh, one interesting thing, kind of how small the world is. Well, I was IT manager at a company, and my boss's son was friends with one of his sons, and one day, my boss's son and his son, Brenner, walked into my office, and you know, just out of the blue. And somehow, we mentioned that his dad was the one who sold me the house. So that was pretty interesting. I remember when I was at the closing, his wife was the one doing all the talking. He really didn't say much. But yeah, that's a surprise. You know, he's not that old. Apparently, he died from cancer. You just never know. You gotta live life to the fullest. Here's another gravesite I stumbled on. This lady here died not too long ago, a couple years ago. She was our neighbor a few houses away. She actually lived next door to my friend in the neighborhood. Oh, she was in her 60s. I mean, that's... And yeah, to me, it's kind of young to die. You should... You know, if you get by infant mortality, the average age is around 80 or so I think so yeah it's too young to go but I remember 
I mean, we were little kids playing ball tag, and her daughter would come out and sometimes play with us. So, that's another surprise there. This one was particularly tragic. Look at the death dates. Notice they're all the same. Well, this family, they were in a car, and apparently they uh, pulled in front of a freight train and just wiped the whole family out. Just a tragic event. Pretty tragic for the community. They had three kids enrolled in the local school system here. And, you know, it's just all... Just all the loss, all of a sudden, just wiping out an entire family. What a tragedy. I can't find anything on it. There's a scholarship memorial fund set up, but that's all I can find. I can't find anything about the accident itself. It's like kind of like they're forgotten. There's no flowers on the grave. You know, a lot of graves have flowers on them, but there's nothing here. This young man here is the son of a guy I went to school with. He was in the same grade as I was, and he also lived in the same neighborhood. Weren't really friends, but we did cross paths a few times. I remember one time, him and his buddy came up, wanted to borrow my uh, Donkey Kong cartridge for my Atari 2600. But I didn't want to lend it out. Well, what happened to his son... I guess he had problems with drugs and it got the better of him because he had a relatively short life and apparently he liked cats it said something about it online there's a little kitty sitting on his grave That pulls at your heartstrings, folks. <laughs>